But go ahead, Mr. Dunn, present your article. Mr. Moderator, I, I'd like to invite uh, Carl Wagner, who was the original proponent of this article, to come forward and speak about it. No, no, fin FinCom has no action, and Board of Selectmen has a substitute. You have to actually put your substitute in. It's in the Selectmen's report. They have a recommended right. vote. Uh, Mr. Moderator, uh, I move that we substitute motion under Article 54, which is in the Selectmen's book, page 17. The town meeting hereby recommends that the town manager and board of selectmen study whether to implement paid on-street parking in town business districts. Um, so uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'll again ask Mr. Wagner to come up and speak. Uh, we considered spending some money to do a study about how we would implement parking meters. But then we said, wait, uh, but then after discussion with the finance committee and other groups, they said, well, what if town meeting actually doesn't want to put those parking meters out there? We shouldn't spend the money on the study first. So we're going to be seeking the town meeting's opinion about whether we should be looking into this or whether we should just let the, uh, or, or we should pursue other ways to talk about parking in the town. Wait a second. We're ready. Um, stamps. Thank you, Mr. Carl Wagner, Precinct 11. Uh, is it too late for me to ask the body to table the discussion until May 9th? May 9th? You want to oh, Until the next session after the special election? Oh, after the special? The special, the special meeting. Oh, man. Um, well, you're making a motion. I'll, do we have a second of his motion? All in favor of t tabling? You want to postpone to May 9th? Postpone, thank you. He wants to postpone to May 9th. All in favor of postponing to May 9th, please say yes. Yes. Opposed? No. Hmm. Chairs in doubt. Let's try that again. All in favor of postponing, please say yes. Yes. Opposed say no. No. I believe it's not postponed. All right. Well, in the interest of uh, being direct, I am a uh, longtime resident of Arlington. I grew up here. Uh, we do not have parking meters on places like Mass Ave, the three main business districts. Uh, after listening to the discussions about uh, how town could run better and looking at how some of our neighboring towns, Lexington, Belmont, some others, uh, have uh, over the years put in metering of parking, I decided that uh, in, in line with trying to run things as well as possible, we should determine as a town if we want to have par parking metering. I also uh, made a trip a couple years ago to Montreal and I liked how they did it, but I'm not an expert in parking, so I wouldn't recommend myself that we do that. So uh, I called around to the town officials and to people that I thought would have uh, interesting views and perspectives on parking. And I generally got the sense that, yes, it's something that uh, would make sense to bring up now, but we want to decide such a big question as do we want to change from free parking in currently marked spots on Mass Ave to non-free parking by bringing such a uh, question to you, the Democratic representatives of Arlington. Um, however, I would like to cede my time that's remaining to, um, I think, the town manager to give a sort of more official uh, discussion of that, and I hope that you'll listen to him. Thank you. Well, we generally don't cede time, but uh, keep it real quick, Adam. Yeah, yeah ceding time isn't something we do. Uh, Adam Chapdelaine, town manager. Uh, very briefly to build on what Carl said, a as he said, he had the, um, the thought of uh, filing this motion, or excuse me, filing this warrant article, uh, and he spoke with me as well as some of the selectmen uh, in regards to the parking concept. Uh, coming out of a discussion based upon the technology, the parking, uh, pay for parking technology that currently exists in the town's two parking lots, uh, which have metered parking, uh, there, there had been some initial research uh, into the technology that could be used. Uh, so there are various types of technology that the town could consider, uh, whether it be individual meters or uh, pay by space uh, at one centralized terminal, pay and display where you put a tag back on your windshield or you, or you don't go back and put a tag in your, your windshield, you just uh, type the parking spot that you're typed into. So there's, there's a lot of options. 
But I think in, in terms of um, Mr. Wagner's uh, approach, there'd be several key principles we, uh, principles we want to look at with any uh, parking research or parking study we would do. We want to view the town's parking and its business districts as an asset um, of, of the town and how to best utilize and best maintain uh, that asset through the possible generation of revenue and how to also possibly use that revenue to turn back into further development or upkeep or maintenance of a business district or, um, or wherever the paid parking was. Uh, an another principle, um, would be uh, making sure through any study that we work with the Chamber of Commerce and the tenants in any business district such that we were confident that uh, we would be putting in a system that would increase churn and would benefit the businesses located in a business district um, so that there would be um, you know, no, no negative effect on businesses just for the sake of revenue. Um, so I think that's all I would uh, add to the discussion at this point. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Gorman, you're next to help. It's fine, yes, me. Chamber of Commerce, I want to hear what she has to say. Hi, Maureen Gormley, Precinct 20. I'm here with my other hat on tonight, which is on the executive board of the Arlington Chamber of Commerce. Um, about a month ago, I did a survey of the businesses in Arlington. Um, I asked that the three business districts, this is in, of our chamber members. So this is not of all the businesses in town, but as an informal survey, the three districts, I asked them, are you in favor of on-street parking on Mass Ave? 72% said no. Their, their idea is that this would interfere with their businesses, and right now they're very concerned about the turnover and everything else with the streets. And how they're going to be able to maintain their businesses. We do want to work with the businesses to try to remind them that they themselves should not be parking in front of their own business, which we do remind them on occasion and things of that nature. Um, we do want to see that there is a better flow of traffic because that's what is so unique about Arlington. We are not Cambridge where people have to pay for parking. People can come in grab something quick and, and leave. Um, but we also have a parking lot for people who want to stay longer in the different districts. Um, actually, only in the center do we have paid parking. In the Heights and in East Arlington, we do not. Um, if you want to have a study, that's fine. But I'm just giving you right now what uh, an initial response from chamber members have said. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Tosti. Hey, it didn't start. This is an uh, important issue for the town. And the Finance Committee went, went back and forth on uh, appropriating money for a paid parking study now. Uh, these studies can get quite expensive. I mean, we're talking 50, maybe even 75,000. And the Finance Committee didn't want to appropriate any money unless there was the will of the town to move towards uh, implementing parking meters on it. So that is the reason for our no action vote. Uh, however, I think you know the, uh, the purpose of the selectmen is trying to get feedback and I think the Finance Committee have no uh, problem with the selectmen's uh, motion uh, to try to get feedback on this. I think that uh, you know having parking meters is not just a revenue producer but it also, like the previous speaker said, keeps turnover going in the business district. Uh, and if you have turnover in the business district, you have more people parking there. And also the revenues from these can often help improve the bus business district. So paid on-street parking has several benefits um, uh, for the businesses there. So again, uh, you know, we have no objections to the uh, Board of Selectmen's motion. Mr. Schlickman. Paul Schlickman, Precinct 9. I like coffee. I'm particularly fond of the coffee at Cabrata, which is located next to the Capitol Theater in East Arlington. Best coffee in town. They also have chocolate croissants that are to die for. Mm -hmm. I will often program my route to work going out of my way to go down Mass Ave to pass by Cabrata to get a coffee and a sinfully wonderful croissant on my way to Route 2 to head west toward Lowell. Unfortunately, there are often times 
when my desire for a corbrata chocolate croissant cannot be fulfilled because I cannot easily park in the vicinity of Cabrata in the morning hours. Now, we do have parking enforcement that comes through to enforce the two-hour rules over there. However, the first pass of the parking enforcement official is merely with the old-fashioned technology of long stick with chalk. So we are now paying a parking enforcement official charged with enforcing the two-hour limit to walk the length of the town marking tires before he can come back two hours later and actually see if somebody is parked in excess of two hours. This is a densely populated municipality. We're, we're not Acton. We're not Carlisle. We're not a town like that. We are among the 10 most densely populated municipalities in the state. And we do have a parking issue. And we do not manage our resources wisely. It is counterintuitive to go and make the premium parking on the avenue free and the supplemental parking in the lots, the satellite lots in the center, metered. It makes no sense to have minimal enforcement on the avenue and surrounding streets, but aggressive enforcement in the municipal lots because with the meters, they're easy to enforce. The system is broken. We need to do something to fix it for the vitality of the businesses. Also for the occasional croissant. We are not dedicating ourselves to installing parking meters next week, next month, or even within the next year. We also have a previous study that was done a couple of years ago regarding the East Arlington Business District, which talks about effectively managing parking resources. We have plenty of data. What this is telling our town manager to do is to say, okay, we're open to the idea. Let's take a look at what the equipment is, what the resources available are, what the potential benefits might be, and investing the money from the meters back into the business districts to make them more attractive would be a benefit. Having open parking spaces when you want to go to a business would be a benefit. There are many benefits that we can see down the road, but we can't see them if we don't at least tell the town manager that we want him to go and look around, see what's available, see what might work for us, replace those awful meters in the municipal lots, which everybody hates, side benefit, and go forward with a study that just considers the possible improvements by managing our parking resource better. This is a common sense article. Please vote in favor. Ms. Maimon? Serena Memon, um, Precinct 21. I'm here uh, in support of Article 54, but I'd like to see an amendment to it. Um, should I give you the amendment now? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to... Um, see a study that would um, help us uh, figure out how efficient the, the parking meters are. Um, considering that they're mostly on Mass Ave, um, I don't think we really generate that much money. And the parking garage, uh, parking lot that we have is l also limited. I've seen people come to the selectmen's meeting and complain there's no parking for uh, residents in this town. So I'd like to see a proposal to see if we can um, add a, a, a garage in the study for this paid parking study. It would also improve the vitality of the businesses um, in the center. 
and um, make us more um, efficient in, in our um, meters and collections. So I think what you, you, yeah, well, let me read what her amendment is going to say. She and I discussed this during the break. We surely didn't expect to get to it tonight. So I'm going to accept her amendment because it is going to be very simple. After the words paid on street parking, we're going to carry it in and or a parking garage in the center of town, or just in town, and or a parking garage. Do we have a second on that? Second. OK, thank you. Go ahead, ma'am. Uh, that's it for me. OK, thank you. So she wants to add parking garage to the, yes, sir. No, no, she's trying to amend the. Oh, hold on a second. You're bringing up whether it's scope. Okay. Uh, let me look at that then. Parking meters, a similar instrument currently 